Okay, so uh, beer beer cake trailer. Now what I did was I uh, I cut this section out of here. Um, I left it a little higher on the back side, a little lower on the front side. Might put a shelf in here, but I got to hinge it, and I got to be able to lock it. So what I've got for hinges is uh, this here routine. Uh, real nice. Got a neoprene uh, keeper in inside there. The problem is, how do you how do you radius radius that? Now, normally I would stick that in the forge and up on the anvil, but. With that neoprene black uh, in there, um, right in there, I can't do that, I can't put it in the forge. Also, it's a little long, so I've marked it there and I've cut it down, so it'll be like that. Um, don't need all that length. Anyways, so uh, how do we do all about that? Well, let me, uh, let me show you. Okay, what that is is a uh, it's a leather sandbag. Uh, it's a leather bag with a bunch of sand in it. It's for pounding out body panels and such. Got a round rod here. Radius is starting. I use a bigger hammer. Got it a little much there. And a little bit. A little bit too much. Got a little overzealous there. But we can stick that on the anvil and get it back. But we'll get the rest of it up near the toe here. And uh, yeah, we got a little much. It's okay. I'll go down to the anvil. I can go here. Probably in the cement right here. Okay, so here's the one I did before uh, I thought to film it. Uh, got a pretty good fit, could come a little more over here. And uh, not too bad. You get a little more on this too. So anyways, that's the basic principle. You just uh, need a way to, to, uh, to radius it, uh, sort of straight across here evenly so it has a nice radius. So use a smaller hammer on this side.
takes a little longer to get going, but that's okay. You gotta make sure the, uh, the hammer don't actually come up and hit you in the face. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take the rounding part of this hammer. It's called a rounding hammer. This is a two pounder. Uh, my other one downstairs is a pound and a half. Now what this is, is it gives you a more concentrated blow right in the center. So it's gonna, that's why I'm taking lighter shots at it. Because it'll, uh, it'll bend it quicker, faster than you want. More up in here. Just about it. Pretty close. I've got a little, uh, a little distortion in here as well. Right here, right here. So I can fix that up on there a little bit. But that's pretty much it. So when I bolt this uh, uh, to the lid and to the body of the keg, um, I want you know I don't want a, a, a hex nut sticking out here. So I got one of these here, round head, whatever they call those uh, machine heads, or I don't know what they call them, but uh, never could figure it out. Anyways, so I got a hardy hole here, and I stick it in the hardy hole. It's a little harder now. I should have maybe done this first, um, uh, but with a curvature on there. You can see uh, that it's implanted in there pretty hard and solid. Uh, but what it's done is it's mushroomed this here inside edge. So uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, pop it out there. Get the magnet out of there so I can get it back. And, uh, and I'll just take that on the, uh, on the wheel, on the sanding wheel, and get that smooth again. And uh, then when I go to do it again here, when I go to actually mount it, I'll just, uh, it won't take much to pop it in this time. Bingo. And then, uh, then that'll hold it when I get the nut on the inside. It'll have a nice flush look to it. Um, it'll be beauty. That's, uh, that was the goal and the intention. You gotta be careful on this end, you don't wreck threads. And uh, bing, bang, bong, just like that. Okay, I've decided uh, that I don't want to uh, wreck the curvature that I've already beat into it because it has straightened it out here some. So I have another plan in mind. It might be a little difficult to get this one enacted here, but I got a piece of pipe that'll fit right around the hole. So we'll give that a try. Might take off on me, hopefully not. straightened it out a bit but not near as much as laying across a couple of flat surfaces there and that did it so it's just a piece of pipe I had kicking around you could probably use a socket um, I have a spacer like this that goes inside uh, a wheel uh, that keeps the uh, keeps the two bearings separate um, you know so there's no pressure one way or the other everything stays tight um, but every time you beat on something it's gonna mushroom so uh, this is just a piece of pipe I got that I don't know what that is three quarter inch or something Anyways, so that's sort of an update to the other way I did it. Okay, so I thought I'd maybe show you another way. Uh, as I'm going, I've, you know, you come up with an idea. So this way is getting pretty half tough to do. Everything wants to move around too much on me. I've already, well, off camera, I kind of experienced that right away. So I'm going to turn it around. And we'll give it a try like this to sort of see what happens. there I gotta hit a little more over here bingo it's in eh I straighten it up a bit but I can pop that out it's got a little kink there right now but I can pop these out when I'm done and uh, and give that a proper radius yeah